Hey guys, what's up? So today is the day, it's Apple release day and I just received my box in the mail earlier today and I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. Uh, real quick before I get into the video, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna unbox this and then I'm gonna be doing a following video on the camera and some of the features and everything. So today's just gonna be an unboxing but I have like this part of a uh, scissors and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up so i ended up going with something a little different than usual i always get a smaller iphone and as you guys can see by the title of the video i ended up going with the pro max and this tape is like really stubborn there we go it's kind of hard to open I'm going to open it up and show you guys which color I ended up getting. So I ended up going with the gold iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this box is kind of big. Uh, I never go with like a pro size. I always like to have a small phone so I can carry it in my hand. And when I'm on the go and stuff like that. So I ended up going with the bigger size this time. And the box is really pretty. You can see the three cameras here. I kind of wanted to go with black just because I thought it would kind of disguise the cameras a little bit. But I ended up going with the gold one. And I don't know. I'm still unsure if I'm going to swap it out for the smaller size. But I wanted to try out the Max. So I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can get a better look at it but this is the box it's all blacked out it has gold on the side this is so pretty and this is what the phone looks like now the back it kind of looks like if it's a metal but it's actually all glass it's one piece of glass and then we have the three cameras here on the back there's a wide angle lens telephoto uh, lens that are new on the back and then, oh my gosh, this feels so pretty. It's like a really nice soft matte finish. And you can tell it's glass when I put my fingers on here. You can see the little marks that it leaves. The front looks just like the 10s, And I'm just going to peel it so you guys can see. Um, they used to have the plastic on the front and the back. And now it's only on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on really quickly and show you guys what it looks like. Let's see what else uh, this comes with. Oh, it does come with a new uh, faster charger. And I think it only comes with the Pro Max. If you get the iPhone 11, then uh, you might not get this one. You might get the regular plug. But I think you can go to Apple and purchase it. And then it comes with the headphones with the lightning cable. I'm a little disappointed. I thought that they were gonna be making this uh, USB-C, but it's still lightning, unfortunately. I like to connect it to my MacBook or my iMac or uh, be able to connect it to like my iPad. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do that. But there is like a little uh, adapter that I have that I can use for now. Hopefully in the next one, uh, they'll change it to USB-C and yeah, it just brings the little lightning cable. I didn't get a case. Usually when I do my unboxing, I already have a case. And I didn't get one this time because I didn't know which one to get. And I didn't know if I wanted to keep this phone because it is a lot bigger. And I didn't know if I was going to like it or might want to return it. But yeah, um, it's not turning on. Oh, there we go. Try not to get this glare in the way so you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a review on the phone on my next video. I'm going to take it out and test out the camera. Maybe compare it to my 10s, so you guys can see the difference. But um, yeah, I do have to go through this whole process. Uh, which I'm not going to get into right now. But this is what the new iPhone 11 Pro Max looks like. It's so beautiful. I was iffy about the color too. I didn't know if I wanted to go with black or white, but just looking at it in person, it looks so pretty. So I actually might end up staying with this gold one. So I don't know if you guys saw, but there aren't any more R's. 
there's just the iPhone 11 and I honestly couldn't decide between this one and the iPhone 11 in the purple color because it's so pretty and purple is my favorite color uh, but yeah I ended up going with the gold one and uh, it looks so nice I can't wait to like play with it and yeah I think I'm gonna go out right now and get a case for it because I don't want to drop it and crack it especially knowing that the whole backside is glass but yeah I'm gonna charge it up and have some fun with it if you guys want to know a little bit more details on the phone I am gonna be doing like I said a video on it uh, very soon probably within the next few days I'm gonna take it out and test it out and for the first time I'm gonna actually compare it to the iPhone 10s so you guys can see the video quality and everything but yeah I hope I end up liking the iPhone 11 Pro Max because like I said I've never had one this big before but it actually doesn't feel too bad so yeah it does uh, right away I noticed it did have a little more weight than the 10s um, but that's probably because there's a lot more cameras and it's a full piece of glass on the back but um, yeah I can't wait to go play with this I'm sorry that this is a short unboxing but I'm gonna give you guys a full in-depth review in the next one but I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.